afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Mio here, and welcome back to another video, which is sort of Civil Air Patrol related, sort of not. Today's video, I am showing you how to do some seam ripping. So I've got two uniforms here, and they've got some old patches on them that need to be removed. And so I will show you how to do that. Now, the things that you need my recommendation is to use a seam ripper now seam rippers are pretty cheap to find um like this one i think was probably only like two dollars or something and it has oh let me do this it has this kind of tip on it okay so it has like a little bit of a pointy end and then like a little nub and then another thing that's useful is to have scissors on hand. I will show how to do it with both scissors and a seam ripper. Seam ripper is definitely cleaner. Scissors you could potentially cut through your uniform and this one is less likely, but you need to be careful with both. You need to be careful with both and make sure that you do not destroy the uniform underneath. Now the thing that you're pulling off, if you don't really care, you can be less careful about that, but typically, um, depending on like, with this patch right here, you need to be careful of the pocket to make sure you don't rip the pocket and you don't want to rip through the material. So I'm going to look at this back side here and I'm just going to do the first step of going underneath just one of the little loops. And so I have created a little rip and it's a little hard to see because it's all the same color here, but I just went under one loop and then I'm going to go down to the next one and I'm going to go to the next one and to the next one and I'm just going to keep pulling along as I go from loop to loop. Now you can do these also a little bit further apart but it can actually scrunch up the fabric which can cause problems but now you can see there's a little bit of a string um, from where that line is where it was originally sewn and seam ripping, honestly, it's not too bad. And if you want, you can rip it a little bit harder and then pull the tiny stringies out. There's a tiny, tiny stringy. Can't see it, that's okay. Um, so it, it honestly, it doesn't need to be all done in one string. So you can just kind of rip it in different spots. Whatever is easiest for you. And uh, again, the seam ripper is the easiest thing to do it with. So that's what I recommend doing your seam ripping with, because the seam ripper is a tool built for seam ripping. So I'm going to pull out this string. And you're probably going to get a bunch of tiny strings everywhere. There we go. And, and if you need to, you can keep doing it with that like loop by loop by loop sort of feel. And then when you need to, you can just rip through. And when you're ripping, it, it's going to that little section right here, like at the bottom of the V. The bottom of the V is where you're doing most of the ripping. So now you can see that I can stick my finger underneath this tape. And then I'm also gonna remove that string on the top side. So I just removed that. There we go. So it looks like I've removed quite a bit of it. Um, if you only have like a pair of scissors, um, try to make sure that it's a thinner pair and you can do that same process. Just be very, very careful not to cut yourself and you're gonna go underneath if you can. And if you can't, then uh, you can try to make a tiny cut but you need to make sure that it's only going through the thread. It's a, it's so much more difficult though. Just get a seam ripper. <laughs> I'm just going to do it with my seam ripper because I don't, I don't want to struggle with that. Okay, there we go. Nice. So I'm going to keep on going. Keep on trucking. And I'm just doing it away from myself. That's a big thing. Make sure you're seam ripping away from yourself because seam ripping away from yourself is safer than doing it towards yourself. That's dangerous. And it looks like this person didn't really care when they were sewing on their name tapes and their Air Force tapes because, man, this corner is messy. Look at all these knots. 
I don't know if you can see them. But look at that. Look at all those knots next to where that name tape is. Huh. That's going to be a mess to deal with. But I'll continue on with the rest of it. And I'll probably do the threads that are immediately adjacent to it. Just make sure you're not going through the actual uniform. That's a big one. Don't go through the actual uniform. Or else you will ruin your uniform before you've even had a chance to wear it. And you could do it on the front side as well, but honestly this side is a little bit easier for me because I, I have a better visibility of what I'm doing because there's more contrast between the thread itself and the patch on this side because you don't see the patch on this side. It's just the blouse, the inside of the blouse. And you, you can pull stuff up after you've done enough of that seam ripping. More little stringies everywhere. Okay, so that's just the general process for that tape. And I'm also gonna show how to do it with the one on the shoulder. It's easier if you flip the sleeve inside out and then you pull out the stitch marks there on the inside. And the process takes a little time. It will take some time. But you can put a movie on in the background and do that. It's really a straightforward process because, well, you're undoing the sewing. The sewing, I think, is a little bit more challenging. This one is more of just brute force and being careful at the same time. Okay, there we go. So I have taken part of that patch off. You can see that there's a gap here now. So this was just supposed to be a quick video showing you guys. And also, if you've already done, like, the backside, you can always do a speed run technique, as long as you're being careful, where you pull it up, and then you, you do some more, you pull it up and do some more. I've done this technique a few times. Um, it, it is a little less careful, so you need to be careful that you're not making holes in the fabric, and you're not pulling too hard. Because um, if you pull too hard, then it can ruin the sleeve, and ruin the uniform itself. And then, as, as a side note, if you do end up taking the patches off of your uniform, and like, let's say you're not an NCO, so you're not going to need a patch on your shoulder, then you will need to iron, or at least try to rub out those holes that come from that stitching. And they do come out for the most part, unless, like, the person used some kind of pressing material and it's discolored, which means it's a sort of ruined blouse at that point. Most times that's not the case though. Uh, I found that to be fairly common with BDUs, but that's not the case with ABUs. ABUs aren't normally pressed with an iron and like starch. You never use starch on these. So that's just sort of the process. So you can do it on the back or you can do it with this side technique. If you ever find that the, like the side technique, uh, well, y you feel like you can't keep doing that side technique where you're ripping from the side, always go back to the back. Go back to the basics. And it's all good. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going here. We can keep chatting for a little bit. Um, I will say that I've enjoyed doing these sewing videos because I, I personally think that these are good skills to learn. And if you've never learned them, now's a good time to learn. And I know a lot of people have talked to me in the past like, I took it to their dry cleaner and they did my patches wrong. And it's like, well, if you do it yourself, then you don't have to worry about that. And you know the regs, they do not. And I've even had some people comment on the videos who are like seamstresses who were asked to do the uniform stuff for Civil Air Patrol. And they were like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I will try to help you. I don't know if I did help them or not, but I didn't hear a response. So I figured they were doing just fine. Cool, right? So let's keep on chugging along here. This is probably going to take us another 10 to 20 minutes to finish the whole uniform. So I don't think I'm going to do too much longer here on camera. It's just a matter of 
ripping those seams, being careful not to rip through the uniform, and just be patient with yourself, be patient with your seam ripper, just buy a seam ripper. <laughs> It doesn't, like, all you need is that head. You don't need it to be super long, like some people have longer ones. This is just a short one that is encapsulated in itself, like this, because it's a little pointy. And I think, I don't remember where it was purchased, but it's nice, cheap, and easy. It helps. That does it for this video, everyone. I will continue to do my seam ripping, but that is all, folks. Until next time. Toodles.